happy birthday if it's your birthday, happy blade birthday if it's in the past, happy future birthday if it's in the future. My name is Lime Green, and welcome back to the Out of Time podcast, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is the final episode. I finally beat everything. I can't believe it. This is crazy. Well, let's just jump where we left off last time. We were told that there, there was someone waiting for us at the Temple of Time, and I said, it's probably going to be Sheik. It is Sheik. And, uh, Sheik says, uh, Triforce is a sacred triangle. And I was like, oh, you know, you're not wrong. But, uh, uh <laughs> that's just a weird phrase. Uh, anyone who touches the Triforce, you know, gets their wishes granted. And seven years ago, Ganondorf used the door that Link opened, uh, to the Temple of Time to enter the Sacred Realm. Uh, and then I asked, why were Ganondorf's wishes the answer? Did he just want to wish for more power? Why couldn't he wish for unlimited power? I, I don't know, let me know in the comments. And then, uh, Sheik does the whole switcheroo, Sheik is Zelda. You know, uh-oh, big surprise. Uh, then Zelda gives us light arrows. And then, out of nowhere, Zelda gets captured and put into, like, a crystal. And at this moment... Uh, I realized we haven't seen Ganondorf a whole lot in this game. That, that's kind of big props, I guess. You know, making an intimidating villain that we haven't seen a whole lot. And Ganondorf just kind of laughs and he's like, Come to my castle if you dare. And then Navi now says, We have to go save Viola. So... Uh, now is the time where I started to prepare. I was like, alright, I gotta go get Nehru's love. And then I didn't write that to where I got it, but I got it. And then I, I said, let's get the Big Ron sword. And I went, and I went to the Big Goron, and he gave me a giant knife. And I'm like, what is this? And I swung it a couple times and it broke. And I went back to him and I'm like, can you fix it? And I bought another one. I'm like, I don't think this is the Big Ron sword. So I was riding around with the Pona. <laughs> and I noticed there's that arrows button. And I was like, what? There's an archery in the... Like, I found the horseback archery thing in Gerudo Town. Gerudo Village. So I was like, they did all this on N64? That's crazy. Uh... But then I want to go do the Keaton Mask, and you sell the Keaton Mask to Garden Kakariko. Uh, I got more carrying capacity for the Deku Nuts. Only the wooden shield can reflect their attacks, not uh, the mirror shield or anything, which is weird. The skull Mask goes to Skull Kid, which kind of crazy if you think about it. I thought, you know, that those were just like lore, lore bits by fans. Like they were like, oh, Skull Kid, he becomes evil in Majora's Mask because, uh, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, we give him his love of masks. You know? Or the reason Skull Kid's evil. Game theory. Uh, and then if you play Sorry's song to him, he gives you a heart piece. And then the spooky mask goes to some kid in the cemetery who wants to be like Dampe. Uh, the bunny hood does not make you run faster. But you have to give it to the running man, though. He wants to be a rabbit. <laughs> uh, and then all... All this is for the Mask of Truth, which just lets you talk to the Gossip Stones, which 
kind kind of not worth it if you're at this part of the game. <laughs> uh, so then, the big round sword side quest. First, you need to talk to this girl in Kakariko, which she gives you an egg, and you have to let the egg w <laughs> hatch, and you wake up Talon, and Talon is like, oh, I gotta go home to Malon. And, uh, then you give it back to Lady, and she gives you Kujiro, a blue Kuko, and you take that to the zombie gun, Lost Woods, and then, uh, then you gotta quickly go take the odd mushroom to the potion shop. Uh, and then you give that to the, uh, uh, go give odd poultice to the zombie guy, but then he turns out to be a Stalfos now, because apparently if you die, do you become a monster in the Lost Woods, and all that's left is his saw, and you trade the saw uh, for a broken Goron sword, and you give that to even bigger Goron, a big Goron, if you will, and you get, the pre get a prescription, and you have to take that to King Zora, and then you give that, uh, I think, to the lake guy, and then you give the eyeball frog to the scientist guy, who gives you the world's finest eye drops. And from there, you climb up Death Mountain, and and like half of it's in a time limit, and it's crazy. You have to know where you're going. Uh, the first time, I was climbing, or I was heading up Death Mountain, and a boulder hit me, and that was, that was it, pretty much. <laughs> and then the second time, you know how you're heading up, climbing Death Mountain, and there's, uh, three Sculptulas and a Tactite? Like, I didn't want to waste my time beating all the Sculptulas, and the one is, like, just out of your view. So I was like, I'll, I'll let you be there. So I nearly climbed past the last Sculptula, and I was holding my breath the whole time. And I got the claim check, and you give that to him, and uh, you wait a couple days, and then you got the big rod sword. It's a big sword. And then, you know, wrapping everything up, I went to the Sculptula house last time. He, they give you a bunch of bomb shoe. And then it's like, where's the fire arrow? Apparently you just gotta stand on a rock and shoot the sun. I will never, ever, ever figure that out. <laughs> I'm being serious. And then where's the ice arrow? You don't get them together, apparently. You gotta go to the Gerudo training ground. I only had like four hearts by this part. Uh, it's, it's like a maze. So you gotta have a battle with the Stalfos in like a minute. And then I use Nehru's love, and I'm like, okay, I don't have any fairies or anything, or any potions. And then the second room, it's a rupee collecting maze with boulders. The third room, it's wolves and a fake door. And then the fourth room, you gotta shoot eyes of statues while it rotates. And the fifth room, I thought you had to jump to the statues to get the chest in the middle with the, the hover boots. But instead, you just gotta hit the statues with a megaton hammer and reveal, like, a little target switch. And then, uh, the sixth room, it's a rupee room, but the floor is lava. And I got hit by the lava guy, and I had to redo <laughs> some of it. So, I went to the other door in the third room, and there's a bunch of like-likes, an invisible chest. They love invisible things in this game, apparently. The seventh room, it's a fight with firewalls. The eighth room, it's a groupie collecting underwater with clams. The ninth room, it's a locked door. But the last, oh, ninth room, it's a bunch of uh, doors, and they're all locked, and you're just putting your keys in. But then you're like, I'm all out of keys. Where's the last one? And I'm not talking about keys. Uh, so then you, you can be looking, 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 and then you look up. The last one's 
an invisible uh, ceiling panel. You gotta climb up the gate and go into the ceiling and it's in a chest. They're sneaky, sneaky guys, Nintendo. And then you get the ice arrows. And then I just got the magic beans later. I was like, uh, you know, get the magic beans to plant a little plant, I guess. And then I had everything except two bottles. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'll make it a little hard for myself. I don't want to waste some time. Uh, the six sages make a rainbow road bridge. And they're like, there's six fire, six rooms representing six dungeons you gotta go beat. And I'm like, all right. So the first one was uh, off of the spirit temple. And it's a rupee room with four masters. And the, the room was a room with a gem switch and a switch on the other side of the gate. And I'm like, how do I get it? And it's a bomb shoe. Bomb shoe <laughs> puzzle actually in this game. And uh, I got to the orb and I wasn't sure what to do with it. You gotta use a light arrow. And then Niburu comes out and she uses her power to help with the barrier. Kind of like Breath of the Wild, how everyone shoots the lasers at the barrier. But in this game, they stop the laser. And then the next one is the Forest Temple. And uh, you fight a wolf and light a bunch of torches. But then it's Ruby collecting with the wind. I had a lot of trouble with this. Uh, but after you step on the switch at the end, uh, it raises up a switch that you can long shot to. It, it gets a little easier. And Saria uses her power. Then you go to Ice Room. And I'm like, you know, I waste a lot of hearts on the Wind Room. I'm like, how about later? I went to Ghost Room. That's the Shadow Temple. And uh, yeah, hit torches with fire arrows and dance around a platform with a like like. I lost all my bombs trying to hit that like like with the bombs and then I hit the other torch with the fire arrow and uh, fell off the platform trying to get the chest or coming back uh, from the switch so <laughs> uh, then I was on the platform like trying to hit the torch again with the light like coming after me and <laughs> that was the most intense thing like I didn't want to try and deal with the light like but I just didn't want to <laughs> do anything I know so I just ran away from the light like and got the golden gauntlets you get something in here uh I only had, at this point, I only had one and a third, three-fourths hearts, and I came into this place with a potion, a red potion, and a fairy, so I was like, time to drink the red potion, go, 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 and then you gotta use the lens of truth, and walk across, and then Ippo uses her power, and then you, I went back to the ice room, and, uh, it's an ice puzzle, but it's timed, and then it's kind of easy once you uh, figure it out. And then Rudo uses her power, and then it's a fire room, and you collect a bunch of rupees. The last one, uh, I tried to hover over to it, uh, you can't. Uh, it's just out of reach, and there's this weird thing at the other side, and Link just... <laughs> He just goes, Rrr! he just picks it up and hurls it over his shoulder. It's like crazy, man. And uh, and then Druni uses his power. And then there's another one in the main lobby. And uh, you go in there and it's an invisible thing. What is it? You can't like really attack it quite well. It's just an invisible sculpture, an invisible keys, 
some chests that hurt, freeze you and give you one heart. And then, uh, there's a bunch of boulders rolling around. This, uh, this room was kind of strange and funny and anxiety inducing. <laughs> boulders rolling around a tight room and, uh, collecting rupees with a timer. I was like, oh, <laughs> a little sweat on the forehead. Uh, and then when the timer, uh, w or when you did it all, the timer didn't stop. You had to find the right door. I, I was so scared I didn't, or I was so scared I was gonna go into the wrong door. And then when you go in the door, you're like, where's the orb? Where is it? And then the hand comes down. I thought the orb, or I thought the orb was invisible, so I just shot a light arrow at the wall. Imagine if that was the last of my magic or last of the arrows. And then, but it's really, it's you gotta use the lens of truth and go through the wall. And then you shoot it, and then Rao, Rao uses his power. And then now you can go into the depths of the castle. I was like, is this just gonna be the Ganondorf fight? Right when I go through here? I don't know. And you climb up the staircase, and there's Keys on one floor. There's Lozalfos on another. There's Stalfos. And then there's a boss key. And then you're like, alright, here, here he comes. And then next floor is the Iron Knuckle. It's like, <laughs> alright, well. Uh, and then the next floor, it's uh, the boss door. And then you open it up. And then there's like a little place to heal, a bunch of pots. And that, that was a nice Ganondorf. And then, uh, then Ganondorf's playing the music all this time. And, uh, you climb up. I'm, try I'm trying to put together the order of events. My notes kind of like go all over the place. And, uh, You climb up into the little arena, and, uh, he does, like, this earthquake attack, and this was, a uh, very, it looks very cinematic, but it wasn't very hard. I knew this couldn't be the last phase, because he punches the ground, and it sends you flying, but at the bottom there's bunches of pots and stuff you can use to heal. And, uh, then, like, parts of the floor give way, and it's, like, kind of <laughs> difficult to get onto that center platform. And then he does, like, the Dead Man's Volley, where he throws the energy at you, and you need to hit it back at him. And, uh, then you gotta follow it up with the Light Arrow, and then slash him with the master sword yeah that wasn't the hard part and then then he just throws up <laughs> that was funny and <laughs> he smashes the windows uh at that point 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 why did i say it like that ganondorf's castle collapses and i'm like no way no way it can't be a one phase fight and uh then you gotta follow Zelda downstairs, and she's like opening doors and stuff. And stuff. You gotta fight two Stalfos. I remember this exactly. And a random Redud just appears. And the first time I did this, he just. I didn't even see him. I was too focused on Zelda. Uh. Just came out and grabbed me. And. Then the castle collapses and Zelda's like, what was that sound? And you approach the remnants and 
Uh oh, it's Ganon. And you got beat him up, but he knocked your sword out of your hands. I thought it was gonna be like Wind Waker where uh, Zelda comes in with the light arrows, but it's just you with the light arrows. So this was a tough fight, let me tell you. Let me count up how many times. At least eight times I have died up to this fight. Navi said she was going to help, but I don't think she really did anything. I don't know. That, that was the big drawback for this fight. I was kind of hoping Navi did something so I could be like, Navi did something? Come on, guys. But Navi didn't really do anything. I don't know. But my big thing was. Uh, you know, Ganon just kind of swings at you and moves really fast. And, you know, I'm trying to smooth my way past him with my dodging. But he swings really in really wide arcs. That's kind of a tongue twister. And right when I dodge, you know, he would swing really long. And it would still get me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I would hit him with a light arrow and then go around. And then, you know, Poke has, like, his mythical, mythically, myth, mythically blue tail for some reason. It ain't like that in Smash Brothers. And, uh,. Then I would run out of magic. But then I found out if he destroys some of the rubble on the floor, you can get more magic. But then you run out of rubble, and then it's like, what's a guy to do? Maybe the big Ron sword? And then it, it's like, you gotta like roll under his legs or his attacks and then that gets into this weird back and forth where he's swinging the swords and then you're trying to get under him it's like <laughs> it ah 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 and then you finally beat him Finally, finally, and then they seal him away into the sacred realm. And then he says, Curse you, sages! Curse you, Zelda! Curse you, Link! And then, uh, they revert you back to your original time, which I thought they were just gonna keep you how you were, which was surprising. And, uh, uh, that's that's the game, and then you unlock Master Quest, which, all in all, well, well, first off, Master Quest. I don't know what that is. Let let me know in the comments. All in all, good game. I almost, <laughs> I almost want to like replay it and like go, and see, what, uh. Like, play from a fresh perspective. Not fresh, but, uh... Veteran? Not veteran. Play from a perspective of someone who's played it before? I don't know. Like, re-watching a movie and see seeing, uh... everything play out, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Knowing all the plot twists. But it, it, it's a good game. It's fun. Uh, or it was fun. Playing it and seeing how much stuff carried over into past games. Like, 
Like I've been saying, Wind Waker, Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess, and all this. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching along, and if you enjoyed, hope you stick, stick around for uh, whatever comes next. Thank you so much.